Today we are learning how to edit a video to music and we're starting right now. What's up fam, my name is Eric, welcome to the channel. Editing to music and cut to the beat is a very essential skill, so let's waste no more time and open up Final Cut Pro. Now I have all my audio clips as well as my video clips imported, we are starting to bring our audio clip into our timeline. By default, the first clip you import is always declared as storyline. But since we want to use the magnetic timeline, we are right clicking on the clip and hit lift from storyline. You see that will create an empty space holder, but we will get rid of that in a second. Now let's select our first clip and drag it right into the space holder, which brings up this little menu. Now select replace from start and the placeholder is gone. Now of course from here we could start to cut to the beat and listen back and forth, but there is actually a better way. Let's have a look at our audio clip. Extend the audio clip by hitting this little icon over here and change it to make the audio clip bigger. If that isn't enough, you can also scale up the whole timeline. With this done, we have a way better view on the waveform of our audio clip. To enhance the workflow when you are actually cutting, let's set up some markers on the baseline. To do that real quick, select your audio clip, then press spacebar to play it. And whenever the kick drum hits, we are going to hit the key M, which creates marker on every kick drum. With this done and magnetic cuts enabled by pressing this little icon over here, we are now able to cut right on the kick really fluently. Now let's get to the more creative side of editing to music. The first thing we did already is clean cutting to the beat. Not very creative, so let's look what else we can do. Jump cutting to the beat is a pretty nice technique which works amazing on snare rolls. We are using one big clip and when the snare roll starts with the first hit we make a cut. Now we delete a couple of frames from the upcoming clip. Let's repeat that till the snare roll ends and boom. Pretty similar but less harsh is speed ramping to the beat. For this we also need a longer clip in our timeline. Press Shift R to make a speed cut on the beat. Go forward a couple of frames and hit Shift B again. Then speed up this part and make sure the length is very short. Repeat this a couple of times on the next hits and boom. The next technique I want to show you is called scale to the beat. Well, I don't know if it's called like that, but I just call it like that. So make your cuts to the beat, then scale up or scale down the next clip and the next clip even more. In order to avoid black background, we are taking a shot and throwing that below to make it look even more interesting. You can also animate the scale by using keyframes. Hit the keyframe button on scale at the start of the clip, then go to the end. By using the left arrow, skip a couple of frames back. Now scale the picture down. Go back to the end of the clip and bring it back up to 100%. To enhance the drop impact, use the built-in Final Cut Pro effect called Earthquake. Throw it on top of the next clip and keyframe the amount as well. Now if you guys are interested in more, definitely check out my screen pump effect. As I said before, my name is Eric, I do Final Cut Pro tutorials and I have a lot of free plugins so check out all my other videos. If you guys haven't already, smash the sub button and follow me on Instagram, lifted on the line Eric. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next one.